Yo, what is going on everyone in the crypto space? Thank you guys for tuning the channel today. Really do appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and get into the topics of today's video. Um, I got two things I want to go over first before we get into the main topic, which is Mercury FX saving a client just over $13,000 for one transaction. Let's go ahead and let's get right into it. So first thing I do want to go over is want to make you guys aware that now on the rippled uh, network topology, uh, usually about every couple months, we kind of have like a couple weeks or so where we check into this each day because if we know a new rippled update is close. So over the last month, we've seen like 1.2 beta 9, beta 10, beta 5, beta 4, beta 6, etc, etc. Keeps going on and on. And we just keep getting new versions of 1.2 in the topology. But what we're seeing now, guys, is we're actually now seeing uh, 1.2 RC1, which is means release candidate one. And uh, kind of in the c coding space, when you're about to, you know, launch a new uh, software update or something, uh, release candidate is kind of like that sort of it's, it's kind of the the version right before live it's kind of like the last go to make sure everything's all good and ready to go before we actually release it so potentially see we'll probably hear we'll probably see like 1.2 release candidate 2 release candidate 3 maybe and like maybe like a release candidate debug or something like that so pretty soon here it seems like we should be having the rippled network update to 1.0 and we literally have zero clue what's going to be in the contents of that update but we know if the up if the network is updating it's got to be for new features and for new features means beneficial for the network meaning it's more convenient uh, for clients to use. So that's some cool stuff there. 1.2 Rippled should be coming out soon. Next thing, uh, breaking news, India's central bank actually authorized cryptocurrencies. And guys, keep in mind that we have a government entity in India actually running a validator node on the Rippled network, as well as we do have like 50% of the market share, according to Ashish Birla, as of a couple months ago, uh, we have a 50% market share in terms of the client signed there. So Ripple definitely does have uh, some strategic, uh, some tr strategic targeting uh, in India, and I don't, I don't find that as any coincidence that India is all of a sudden, according to again CNBC, so reliable news source for like regular news, I would say, but they're not as reliable for cryptocurrency. But this is like you know the official CNBC India, you know that's the the, the branch that is, is based in India, so I would assume that this is actually correct. But however, we do get a lot of you know false information about like crypto bans and accepting crypto, so it's all kind of a confusing thing. However, this is from CNBC. India. So I, th I think that we can take this, you know, as credibility that the Reserve Bank of India has authorized cryptocurrencies now. So I don't know exactly what they mean by authorized. Uh, like if, if they're, if it's legal to trade, but not legal to, you know, like start a business on. So I'd really like to get more clarification on the future on this India regulation. And again, uh, India is actually a pretty large country and is densely populated. And since Ripple really has 50% of the market share already in terms of client signed, I mean, man, if we could get some uh, XRP to rupee liquidity in India, we could be solving a big liquidity pain point. A lot of money comes in, in and out of India every single year. So cool to hear that they have, uh, to some extent, authorized cryptocurrencies, but I'm looking forward in the next couple of days to seeing to what extent really is this authorization going to. So hopefully we can see some more exchanges in India go from fiat you know, to crypto and start building some liquidity there for X Rapid. Now, the main topic of today's video is this tweet from Mercury FX, and this has been on my mind all day and it's just absolutely fascinated me. But again, I do want to clarify, this is, you know, not 100% confirmed to use Ripple and XRP, but I mean, man, if we like read between the lines and do like, like two seconds of really just logical thinking. It's like, how the heck did they save th one client 13 grand? What other system could they be using? So again, they don't specifically say they're leveraging XRP or leveraging X rapid, but I kind of have some idea to sort of prove that this might be actually the case. So the first thing is really, again, th there, there is no way in the current correspondent banking system they save their client $13,000. They have to be using some other system. And again, guys, you got to consider the fact that Mercury FX was one of the first X Rapid partners on the list. And do you guys remember last week's statement from Mercury FX? Or well, this news came out last week, but you know the statement was from a couple months ago. This is from Mercury FX, uh, from their official website actually on the press section. As with all things, we will start with modest sums and add zeros as we progress. Come the end of the pilot, there is no reason. I repeat, there is no reason we shouldn't be making payments of a million dollars or more. And I gotta tell you guys, I think this is a multi-million dollar payment. Because fiat currencies, guys, don't move a whole ton. But at the same time, if you're holding those fiat currencies for an extended length of time, it is actually very volatile for that time window. 
So here's the thing. If I, uh, just for kind of, you know, demonstration purposes, what I did was I looked at the euro to dollar, uh, kind of weekly, weekly change right here. So we can see, uh, euro is the base pair, dollar is the quote pair. And the euro to the dollar, uh, let's just assume that that corridor is, let's just assume that that corridor is euro to US dollar. I don't think like that was the actual corridor, but you know, just, just for example, just to kind of throw a corridor out there to see some real kind of give a good estimation, right? So we see uh, euro to the dollar, uh, this last week has actually rose 1.25% and is actually down today for 0.3%. And I don't know exactly how long this customer would have usually held the money, but it probably would have been more so uh, of a week where they would have that risk in that fiat currency. And you can see here, if you just take today, if you just take today, 0.30% of a $4 million transaction is about $12,000, which is kind of close to the Mercury FX 13,000. So, and then let's say if it was like for the week, uh, if it was 1.25% and let's say it was the other way, let's say it was dollar to Euro, they would have actually lost a percent and that would equal probably a more large sum of, you know, 20 to 30,000. So really guys, my estimation, I'm honestly thinking that this transaction had to at least be in the six figure range, but most likely in the millions range. And again, guys who remembers when Mercury FX said there is no reason we shouldn't be making payments of million dollars or more. So guys, I think we may just kind of with the speculation, got my speculation hat on right now. Uh, I think we may have seen like a million dollar transfer through the XRP ledger through XRapid because again, they did confirm there's no reason that they should be making payments million dollars more. And how the heck do they save a client 13K? And this client ain't exactly small because that's gotta be a large sum of money being moved because if 0.3% uh, on $4 million is like 12 grand, I mean, that's like a very small movement actually being a quite significant fee just for transferring. So I honestly think that what happened here, in my opinion, again, speculation, what I think happened here is that a client with a multi-million dollar transaction that needed to be settled, they went through Mercury FX, they did X rapid or ripple net instead uh, and they circumvented the correspondent banking system thus only being exposed to xrp volatility for a couple of seconds and thus they would have probably lost about thirteen thousand dollars in fees if they would have went to the correspondent banking system and again the fact that mercury effects even emphasizes the fact that hey isn't it time we start moving your money faster and cheaper what does x rapid do it's faster and cheaper. Guys, I know this isn't confirmed info. I really usually only like to go over confirmed information, but I mean, they're one of the first XRapid clients ever. They're saying isn't time we start moving your money faster and cheaper, and that's exactly what XRapid does. And to combine the statement with that, there's no reason they shouldn't be pushing payments a million dollars more. Guys, I think we may, I think we may have just witnessed a over a million dollar payment going through XRapid. But again, complete speculation, just my opinion. And as always, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Because man, $13,000 of Ripple, I mean, yeah, maybe to the guy who's sent, maybe to the business who's sending that $4 million payment, maybe $13,000 to him, maybe it's not that much. But really, when you if you make these payments on a regular basis, I mean, $13,000 a transaction starts to add up where you could potentially be saving hundreds of thousands to millions a month, if depending on how frequently you're really making these transactions. So guys, the Ripple Net really has the power to save a client $13,000 on a transaction. That is quite powerful. Hence the reason why managing director at IMF, Christine Lagarde, is saying that it's that the private sector is really threatening uh, these, these public banks that are you know being taking advantage of people on the current correspondent banking system. And again, the whole thing about a level playing field. By the way, guys, uh, you should take kind of take note to some big people who are talking, maybe like Donald Trump, Christine Lagarde, and you know, people from like the Bank of England. They all adopt the same term level playing field. And this is exactly what Ripples would be doing, guys. So really, really interesting stuff, man. I mean, with this kind of with this kind of impact right here, this kind of impact on one transaction. If you can save this much on one transaction, how the heck is this not going to be mass adopted, guys? It's just a matter of time. And, con and institutional facing adoption happens a lot faster than consumer facing, in my opinion. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in the channel today. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, check the links in the description. If you do want to support the channel, get yourself a nano S key for that cryptocurrency nice, safe, and offline and away from hackers. And make sure to hit those post notifications so you never miss a video or stream. And as always, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think this transaction was an XRP or an XRP? <laughs> do you think this transaction was leveraged by XRP? Um, if so, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.